Hey guys, you're back with Alex and we're playing Folklore. So let's move on ahead. Oh my goodness! Okay. So I have the option of choosing who I'm gonna play as? That's weird. Oh, so I can play this whole stage again as Ellen. Oh, that is so awesome! Okay, you guys. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna start most stages as Alin, and then I'll play as Keats. All right, let's play. Whoops! I need to close my. Sorry, you guys. I left my uh, speakers on, so I probably had a little bit of echo there. Is it you, mother? I wanted so very much to see you. It was very hard without you. I was so young. But that doesn't matter anymore. Why won't you answer me? Excuse me. What? Are you the one who telephoned me? Huh? Who are you? Why would I? Hmm. Perhaps not. What about the lady over there? Hey, no, oh. don't touch. She's dead. We've got to call the police. Let me go! Mother! Oh, my God. Someone! Someone, please! A murder in the village of the dead. Tell me this is a joke. So you guys, I actually wanted to restart the whole game again as Ellen, because I, I find that most of the story seems to be from Ellen's point of view. My mother fell from the cliff. I need to hurry to the beach. <laughs> Maybe her voice, I made her voice a little bit too girly. To the beach? Yeah, maybe a little better. Let's go to the beach. Mother? Poor mother? Mother? Say something! Who is that girl? Hmm. What is it? I can't find her. A uh, what? She fell from the cliff. I need to find her soon. What, your mother? That cliff? <laughs> Good luck. Are you okay? Oh, I can't wait to see her transformation! Ellen's transformation should be awesome. Where am I? Who brought me here? Mother? I thought I had finally found you. It's always the same, a glimpse of hope that quickly fades away. Mother, just what happened? What should I do? Ellen, you're not alone. <laughs> I don't know what that voice is. Who are you? Perhaps can find your mother. Come to the pub. I guess it's a spooky voice. 
Come to the pub. <laughs> Should be more obvious who's talking though. Guess I can save diary. I'm not a very good voice actor, but I like trying myself at it. I don't read quickly enough. My English would need to be way better, but it's still fun. And I haven't done it in a while, it's probably because I'm playing this video game. Whoa, there's a telephone here. Can I go in? I guess not. Can I go here? Aria's home. That voice, it said pub. Where's the pub in the village? What's that? People talking? It's coming from that building north of the road. I guess I can't go anywhere else, can I? I guess I'll be able to go there at some other point in the game. We're entering the pub. <laughs> Open so late? Who's the new face? Just a young girl? Oh, it's also girls again. Well, I'm amazed you made it here. You've come to meet the dead. How nice of you. Fairies? Or perhaps ghosts? Excuse me. Excuse us. We are half-lives. Call me Fair Tariq. Woo! You lost your mother, did you? But do not despair. We can help. My name is Frizzy. Is this a dream? No, oh, ho, 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 ho. Go to the netherworld, Andamona. It is true that you can meet the dead. <laughs> that is so not her voice. I don't know how to make her voice. Meet the dead? Teehee, you'll be the next to on the cloak then the cloak the netherworld okay how do I make her voice that one to the left and open the door to the netherworld <laughs> that is not her voice <laughs> that's, that's like his voice scarecrow is outside he'll show you the way yeah ha, ha. I waited ages for I didn't have time to read that The name's Jimmy Squarefoot. Oh, off the north wall are you? The nether world is the land of the dead. Oh. But the living sometimes go there. Otherwise, there'd be no myths about the uh, uh, fairy realm. Actually, there's, there's a door to the nether world in this very v village. <laughs> I'm fear daring. <laughs> How do you like my gear? Pretty sharp fashion sense, eh? I'm not all about good looks, though. Got it up here, too. <laughs> Go on, ask me anything. I didn't ask her. I didn't ask him. I have a strange feeling, well, not a strange feeling, actually, no, I didn't make the same voices the first time around when I was playing with Keats. Can Gonor have a conversation? We welcome ye on the fine night. I'm Gan Connor, barman of sorts. We're all half-lives between the living and the dead. 
Scarecrow told us he'd be bringing someone. We've all been waiting for a year to come. Oh my, you're an angel. I never dreamed a girl so young could believe the legend and come here. The girl of his dreams finally walked in Scarecrow's life. <laughs> I'm Frizzy the Banshee, a half-life whose Harold's death. You're off into the netherworld to look for your mother. How sweet. Let's exit. Okay, I guess he's, she's gonna meet the Scarecrow now. What took you so long, Alan? I'm Scarecrow. Who? We, <laughs> you want to see your mother, Hans? Then you should go to the Netherworld. The entrance leads beneath the South Hinge. Come on, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> Do you know where the hinge is? Just follow the village path south. I don't know how to make his voice either. Him and the, the big lady. <laughs> he seems like happy a lot. <laughs> yeah, he probably talks a lot like that. Glad you made it! Shall we go to see your mother? You'll take me to her? Wee With pleasure! I have a soft spot for women in mourning. Today is special as it's Shamhain. It's a prayer day for the dead. You can go beneath the hinge. Go there to get your clothes. What kind of clothes? I'll be able to see my mother then. Yes, you must perform the ancient ritual of donning the cloak of side. Apparently the ancients were able to use that mantle to bring the souls of those in the netherworld into this world. Let's go in and see the amazing transformation Ellen is going to go through. There's an ancient cloak in this chamber. Used for netherworld battle. Ancient priestess using the cloak could hear the voices of the dead every night. You have the power to don the cloak because for you, dead is a very familiar matter, isn't it? Why me? <laughs> Trust me, I can just tell. That's why I brought you here. Over time, you have lost many things. So, we can search together. My only memories of my mother, of her reading a picture book to me and the pendant she gave me as a charm. Yes, yes. Perhaps you've blocked out the painful memories, but it's all right now.
put on the cloak of sea, and we can beat the dead. The rest, Alan, it's up to you. But be careful. Finding her might not be a good thing. Oh, uh, help me. Hang on. Let me go. Hey, finish. <laughs> Just to spite you. Lucky for me, I'm already half dead. <laughs> Was that Kate's? I'll say this just one more time. The Netherworld's a very dangerous place. If you go there, you may never make it back. I must see my mother. If there is any chance of finding her, I can face any danger. Awesome. Why, Ellen? You look to die for. Wee hee hee hee. Now, don't be afraid. Go through the door. You mean that thing shining there? Yes. That's the gateway between this world and the netherworld. I wonder what her fighting style is going to be like. What is this place? I feel like I'm in a dream. There's no time to sightsee. You'll be driven out of the Neverworld at dawn. The question is, will you be able to find your mother by then? Woo hee hee! Oh yes, and beware of folks. They are made of souls of the dead and will attack. <laughs> Hello and welcome. This is the fairy realm where my fairies live. On behalf of the fairy lord, we have long welcomed the living. Heed our advice well. I have lots to tell you. I'll enclose important things in brackets when I talk. Portal. Living ones like yourself can use the portal in the square to return to the village. Oh, but today is Shanghai. It's a special day and you cannot use it. I'm not sure I'm saying Shanghai and no one's supposed to, but whatever. Recovery at portal. The netherworld becomes more dangerous as you go deeper. When you're in trouble, just touch a portal. That radiates brilliant light. Your inquiries will be healed. I guess I've read all of those with Kate's, but whatever, I'll read it again. Use the power of the cloak to absorb the folks' eyes. Then use the folks whose eyes you've absorbed not familiar with all the lingo, someone will explain it. Eyes pop up. The other day, I burned myself. Thought my eye would pop out. When folks are exposed to elements they vulnerable to like wind or thunder, their eyes pop out. 
try it if it's difficult to bash the eyes out of them. Long, long ago, the living sometimes visited the netherworld, but not now. Why did people forget they could visit the land of the dead? Who are you going to show us how to fight? That guy's ugly. Hello, I'm looking for my mother. Oh. Careful, Lelin. Scarecrow? Be careful, Lelin. <laughs> What's this? That's the energy from their souls, their eyes. Wee, Alien. Hold out your hand, hurry. Huh. Yes, yes, that's it. The cloak is absorbing something. I guess that wasn't them talking, it's just the narration this time. Perhaps it's her. What just happened? The cloak can absorb their eyes. But what for? To fight with <laughs> But I how could I? The clock will show you the way. Oh, it's the same thing as okay. I'm gonna go this way first, go and battle a few more monsters. Like I did with Keats. I thought they had like different fighting styles. What? I have a different type of monster. Ah, okay. Well, that's cool. I wish I could jump. It kind of annoys me. I like Person X and having the character jump. Oh well, I'll get used to it, I guess. to absorb two of them. Is that didn't work. Supposed to make a combo if you fight more than one at a time.
here, defending myself just in time. This is the land of the dead. It is known as the Netherworld in our legends. The Netherworld is the name your kind used to distinguish this world from your own. Yaha! The funny thing is, some of us even call it that. Today is the day of Samhain. It's a special day for the dead. On this day alone, the living can enter the netherworld. You aren't granted much time, so you must seek out the dead quickly. If whomever you see died recently, they may still be around. Anything you'd like to know? Battles. Battles aren't simply a matter of tossing folks at the enemy. Lock on your aim with the L1 button. Press the R2 button to evade. Many different tricks to try. I guess I'll need to try. Who was it? L2? Folks sometimes drops glowing objects when you defeat them. Be sure to pick them up. They can be quite useful. Green ones are for HP recovery. Others are picture books or food for absorbed forks. I guess I've read all of those before. I'm gonna read them again. Living ones like you who don't the cloak and can traverse the realms are messengers. That's because you serve to pass along messages between the living and the dead. Those of the dead become folks. After that existence, they return to the ground. No one should know where they go then. Helen! There's something ahead! Hurry! I believe it's your mother! Hurry, Helen! There's not much time! Mother? I was so very lonely. I'm so glad I finally found you. Mother? Please, Mother, look this way. Seventeen years ago, I will never forget. The night of Shanghai. It's your fault! What do you mean? Why you, you horrid girl! You're possessed! It's all your fault! I'll kill you! <laughs> Why is there a K? <laughs> She didn't get an object to find, like, uh, the reporter did? Wee -hee -hee. That was a close one. Shamham was... has ended. This is the real world. That wasn't Mother after all, was it? Wee -hee -hee. Nah, that woman tried to trick you. She said it was possessed. Seventeen years ago, Shamham revenge? Please tell me, what should I do? Wee to find out the past, listen to the voices of the dead. To the netherworld again? How can I get there? Find the memento of the dead and offer it to the henge. That will open the door to the netherworld. Oh, morning's almost here. Good night, Ellen. See you after dusk.
Save game time! Yay! Alright you guys, don't forget to be as kind as you can be and to kick some monsters butt and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.